You might have to start being quiet with the audio because here comes Sanctuary. That water ball, we'll get it. Yes. Jesus. And bus sword drowned. <laughs> to the audio. Yeah. Right around here is when I start playing Sanctuary. Right here. Yeah. I thought I'm one. Uh. Fortunately, there's dialogue. I can't hear you. They won't be able to hear either. Oh, we can hear it fine, right? Yeah. I'm still reminded of that anime gif, crotch first. <laughs> Goodness. Why wow, his head is so big! <laughs> yeah. These two art styles don't mesh well. I'm just, I'm sorry, but like, <laughs> it's like Disney, classic <laughs> Disney, and then Square Enix human anime kind of. <laughs> better, better, but admittedly, it's still better than the mix art style they had in Xenoblade Chronicles Two. That mm -hmm. is true, and in Sonic 06. Oh, okay, that, that was yeah. Anime. And that's some nice blonde hair. <laughs> Just call me Goofy. <laughs> Just call me McDonald. <laughs> You're home. Yay. <sighs> we still right. got quite a bit to go. Do we really want to do Final Thoughts now? Um, I don't know. Did we do our Final Thoughts in Chain of Memories? Uh, I I think we did like this. Maybe like the story side. Hmm. We did most of the. Well, now is actually because the rest is everything else is optional now. I guess so. Because like compared to Chain of Memories, it was um, it was extra story to talk in that which is more relevant for the thing. I guess so. Uh, Harry, you yeah. might need to turn the uh, audio down. I can still hear it leaking through. Yeah, I can. Uh, oh, we don't want. Music. We don't wanna, you, you don't want. Uh, you don't want. Because even bits of it could not, like mess the whole thing up. Well, what, what, what we what we do is like we uh, what why we were talking about music over credits. We just do put that over it, um, and I, I I had to keep it keep the audio up a little bit so that you guys can get in because um, like I at the uh, intro of this game like um, I still got in but like you could barely hear Jason, but. Um, no, no, either way. Um, I, I guess I'll just go first quickly. Um, yeah, I this is this is my favorite game in the series. I do really love what they did to improve the combat in this game. I like that you have a lot of options to work with, of the limits to drive forms, the summons, and they all have a, a, var a variety of uses, and it they don't feel too um, situational and. Um, I, know, I, I like how fluent the combat is, like, um, there's never really a dull moment, you're always finding new heartless nobody, well, nobody's at, like, the end of the game, but still, um, you're finding, a, you're getting a lot of new enemies, and, uh, just seeing new strategies and stuff, and I like what they did with the magic in this game, I think it's a lot more useful and fun to use in this. I kind of wish they brought back the tech points from the first game because it uh, it gives you more of an incentive to uh, guard attacks and try and uh, do specific things to get some extra extra XP. Um, I'm not losing sleep over it, but it would have been nice to have that back. But um, I don't know. Uh, I I think the music is the best in the series by far. Um, oh, oh hey Cloud, hey Squall. <laughs> yeah. I don't care if it's Leon in this. It's fucking Squall. Yeah. Well, there's there's a story reason why he changed his name, but uh, yeah, I love the music. Uh, I think the world choices were probably better overall. Overall, 
Um, I, I wish it wasn't as arena based, like, I wish there was some of that exploration back from one, uh, but I, I can un kind of understand them being a bit scared uh, to be like as op uh, as exploration based as one because it could because it could get pretty messy sometimes uh, especially with the fights and um, I don't know I, I I can understand why they went for this style um, and it feels a lot more friend uh, like friendly and this is probably the best uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts game on your first playthrough. Because I, I think the other game, the other games for the most part are better on your second run. I think you're gonna have a, de a, a good enough time with this game either way. And um, I would recommend playing this on Proud your first time um, because it gives you a, an opportunity to need, learn to use more than just swing your keyblade around. Because that's not always gonna be the best option. It gets the job done usually pretty well but sometimes you want to use a summon or something to make things a bit easier um but yeah i don't know i, li I like i like that you can uh go uh, do the synthesis near the start of the game instead of how kingdom Hearts one did it where you had to get a trinity um and then that you don't you can't really do synthesis stuff until like halfway through the game um and I, I don't know, I, I, I think they structured it a lot better in this. Um, I think the items uh, serve more of a purpose because the whole MP bar draining if you just if you just use cure. And uh, I like that they sped up the um, sped up how the um, duration of you using an item because in Kingdom Hearts 1 it was really slow. Um, and I, I don't know man, like I, I really do like this game. I I don't think it's quite up there for me, uh, in terms of like being against like uh, Rayman 3, Crash 3, Banjo 3, uh, Tropical Freeze and all that, but it's definitely my favourite RPG, um, it's a lot of fun, um, and I don't know, th there are some, some issues I have with it here and there, like the some of the journal requirements, like having it so you have to play a mini game again just so after that it can tell you the actual requirements so you can do the minigame properly after that. I think that's kind of silly. Um, but you know, my, my complaints are very minuscule in the grand scheme of things. And I, I, ju I just hope that 3 uh, brings the best elements from 1 and 2 and just makes something greater because from what I've seen of that game, it's, it, it it looks it looks magnificent. Like it it it, it it's, it seems to be a, a runner up for favorite game of all time right now. But we'll see. Uh, I'll see how I feel about it when when that game actually comes out because it's too early to say for sure. But yeah, it does like Disney charm. It's not quite as good as the first game, but I do like the how the uh, the plots intertwine with the Kingdom Hearts story decently well. Like, um, I like, I, I do like that you actually visit the worlds again, because, um, you know, in the other games you just go through the worlds and then you don't really need to visit them again story-wise. So it's nice to, nice to see, like, what the characters are up to after the fact, and you know, it makes it makes them feel more important in the grand scheme of things, I, I, I would say. And it's just, I, I like that the organization members themselves constantly taunt you throughout the game, and they feel like a, a better overall threat than Maleficent or Ansem ever were in the first game, in my opinion. And I know it, it gives you more of a more of an incentive to beat them, and like just, you know. Maddie's here, by the way. <laughs> oh, nice. But huh? like, yeah, but yeah. That, that that's basically how I feel about the game. Great, great oh, game. Yeah, great, great game. Couple hey, of my, minor issues, uh, but still, yeah, I, I, I think this is this is easily my favorite game in the series, and I think uh, mechanically, I think it's the I think it's the the best. Like my, minus like 
uh, not having quite as good exploration as one. That is. What? Three words or four words. You're too slow! Uh, the, the... Quit the I, 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 I basically, Wait, yeah. That, that just I, I messed it, but, um, yeah, that, that, I, I, I've, uh, I'm, I'm done, I've rambled enough, so Jason, go. <laughs> um, I, I, this is definitely what you would, what you would say for a sequel done, right? like, how, how a sequel should be. Like, taking, like, like, taking what works and improving on it. Like, this is overall, like, a, uh, phenomenal sequel. Yeah. I also think this is the last Kingdom Hearts game that uh that the original voice actor for Mickey Mouse did, because didn't he get replaced with Birth by Sleep? I believe I so. I think it shot so with Birth by Sleep. But yeah, um, um Pedro. Yeah. Jonathan Taylor but, Thomas, James Arnold Taylor. <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah, Jonathan um, Taylor Thomas You mean the yeah. little child from from freaking like Home Improvement? Holy shit! <laughs> Pretty much, um, Harry also summed up, like, how I felt, like, uh, ex I do still find, I still do enjoy one more, but that's, I, that is a bit of, a, admittedly, a nostalgia bias fitting in there. Mm. But, like, I will not deny how much 2 has done for the franchise, like, the improvements it brought, do, and, like, how much has been affected, like, yeah. Like, you can see what the kind of info it's gonna have on three. Yeah. So, I'm just hoping. I'm. I am hoping three does what this did bet in, but even better. Yeah, I want three to do that. Improve, like, just expand upon the combat potential and bringing back some of the exploration factor from the first game. Because I, I can under, I I can uh, understand. Um, uh, to a degree, like why you'd enjoy the first game more, because like, I do, I do kind of miss like the Trinities get finding the Dalmatians and the, g the general exploration factor in one uh, when I play two, but you know. What was that all about? I don't no idea. What, what, maybe it's a Final Fantasy VIII reference. Well, no, who knows? Yeah, maybe. But I'm just like. I played through it, and I don't remember that, so is it my turn to talk about it, even though I just came in, like, at the end? Um, I'm not exactly done yet, but... Okay, off you go, then. <laughs> but, well, I, I, I'm almost done. It's, um... Like... I do wish they had more of an exploration factor, and, like, yeah. um... As, as, as Harry mentioned, the, uh... Or I think I brought this up. In, I think I brought this up in one as well. There, there's the charm that in the Disney charm that you know that showed in like the one the silliness. It's it's still in a, it, there's still some of it here like in Pride Lands all Hakuna Matata kind of it. And uh, like uh, so of getting punched in the face and Land of Dragons and stuff. Yeah, and I guess to an extent, it, it is lo low by as low of as the world is. Atlantica in general. Yeah, I guess. Like, I like that. Uh, well, what am I trying to say? Like, that there are still like silly moments in this game, and like silly moments that happen in the other games as well. But at this point, the story is trying to be a bit more serious. So some of that yeah, yeah, whimsical like stand, black charm, but yeah, you know, as a Disney fan, that's the charm is kind of what made me enjoy it. Yeah. Not. But not that I didn't enjoy the story. I I did enjoy the story. Yeah, take and that, Johnny. <laughs> who doesn't give a shit at this point anymore? Um, I'm pretty sure half the fan base doesn't give a shit anymore. Just give us Kingdom Hearts three. And uh, you, you done with it. You, you'd be surprised how many people care about the story. Oh wait, um, wait. Turn back up the audio. <laughs> ah. I'm gonna explain fan grammar so we can do this. Yeah, it's just a Destiny Islands theme now. I love this instrumentation. Nothing's changed, huh? Nope. Nothing will. And then suddenly a plane crash. World. <laughs> 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 but giant purple cat says you're so naive and then giant plane crash. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey, Riku. 
What do you think it was? The door to the light. <laughs> Ew, Sora. <laughs> this. Knife has many doors, Ed boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. <duh. laughs> why is Free this? Ed, why is gone. It? I never noticed how broad Riku's shoulders are until Riku. just now. Look <laughs> at <laughs> how broad they are. Hey, what's up? What's Kyrie's hood attached to, by the way, exactly? Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, this is actually- This ending actually takes place after recoded. Ooh! Never hand in hand. Yeah. The orchestra version of that was beautiful, by the way. <laughs> the message says, Drink more Ovaltine. No, actually, that message. No, no, that no, no I don't make it a joke. <laughs> that, that message, for anybody who's not very much aware, is actually the king saying that, hey, we may have found the original trio. Oh. Yeah. We got the secret ending. This is, well, this is the first secret ending. I don't know if we got the other one. This is the trail of Rebirth by Sleep, basically. Yeah. This is the only one you got on, I think, the original Kingdom Hearts 2. Hold on, I got a phone call! Ah. Yeah, the first thing that we saw in the, in the, in, around the Keyblade graveyard in yeah. the Hippie. But, really pretty. This is, yeah. I, I don't know if we've actually got the, the other ending, but... It's uh, my favorite se uh, secret ending. I don't know about the keyboard to hear in the context though, but yeah. like this, this itself didn't happen. Yeah, there's no way these keyboards are here. Also, the detail on the keyboards as it is, wow. Yeah, I think it's meant to be symbolic, symbolic of what weapons they picked up. Yeah, yeah we know who they are now because we've already did by sleep in our yeah. thing. So I think. Akra picked up Kingdom Key D, and we know she goes into the realm of darkness. It's Keyblade War. It all began with Birth by Sleep. Which, dun, we, dun, which dun. we've already done. I haven't. Yeah, we haven't got the other one, so we're gonna have to do probably Man, finish the journey. Man, that's good art! Probably, uh... No, no, player! There is one thing that Nomura will always do right, it's just fucking artwork like yes. that. It is just so... Yeah, cool. like, I like... I like the cloud, like, picture they had for, um, Smash Bros. when he was revealed. We're actually oh, not yeah. That f yeah, we're not actually not that far off from completing the journal. Uh, completion of gummy roots. I make <laughs> yeah, that's the thing we were talking about. Uh, it's like, if you don't... Oh, little! You... little! <laughs> oh, goodness. Used anti-form 19 Stop times. It. Wisdom form... Wisdom form was the most used form, really? Okay. Maybe because we were... Oh no, but it's because we were doing the same mushroom all the time. Oh yeah! Wait, completion uh, on the gummy routes, 39%. Uh, forever, it's probably you said, like, do all the S ranks, do all the uh, other stuff. I don't know, there's a lot we that. missed, and we some of them we just didn't pass. But, Screw that noise. Yeah. Alright, so now I get to have a discussion. Um, I it, through this playthrough I came in about, like, near the end. But I've played Kingdom Hearts 2 since the day it came out. It was the first PlayStation 2 game that I ever played and that my dad, we, like my family, we would sit down and we'd um, watch dad and mum take turns in playing this game. And we also got turns as well. We did, uh, me and my siblings did a world each. Like my sister saw Halloween Town was in there and she really wanted to do that first because she really loves that movie. So we took turns and it was an experience. And then dad stopped playing after a while because his work was so hectic so then I got the chance to play it and I beat it and I'm like this is the most fun I've had in a while in terms of Final Fit like not even Final Fantasy just from Where Square in, in, in from Square in general like right. I love Final Fantasy 4 and I love Final Fantasy in general but this is fun sure the plot is ridiculous now with all the side games and shit Nomura Nomura please please end it with three but it's just, you wouldn't be so upset about the story if you weren't so attached to it. It's like, um, god, how am I supposed to compare this to something, something I recently played, like, 
Dissidia, I'll compare it to Dissidia because it's the closest comparison that I have. I love Dissidia, but the plot is stupid and ridiculous. <laughs> like, the war goes on for so many cycles and it will continue to go on until you all fucking die. And I'm like, that's dumb. That's <laughs> stupid. And then Cosmos is like, okay, I'm gonna do a thing, okay? You need to go get these crystals so we can break the cycle, but then Kane does the whole backstabbing thing. And again. He's just, like sad about it again, yeah, because he did it in four. But this time he was oh, actually also, aware, and up, as we say, he still. was actually. Or not CG, actually, doesn't have a... He was yeah. actually aware and not, not uh, brainwashed. But um, yeah, and that happens, and then the the city of twelve cast literally dies. Yes, lightning died. Um, Goodness. and then you go back into the thirteenth cycle, and then boom, hey, you get to save the world, but on literal borrowed time because Cosmos, fucking kills herself. Well, not really kills herself. Chaos is like, okay, bitch, bye, sets her on fire. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I That's will admit pick... Ties. Yeah, I will admit pick Dissidia because I love it so much. It's like, I'll nitpick Unleashed. Like, yeah, Unleashed has its problems, but I love it. Like, you can love something so much that you get upset with it, but you still love it. Yep. Yeah, and that's how whatever. I feel. That's how I feel about Kingdom Hearts 2. Like I love Kingdom Hearts 2, but some of the choices it did was ridiculous. Like I did not. I dreaded going back to Hollow Bastion for the Thousand Heartless battle because I hate it. I hate it so bloody much. And you have to fight really? Demix before you even. You have to fight Demix before you go to the Thousand Heartless fight. See, you I, I, fight I, Demix. I, I love okay, Demix. I, see, I love that part part of the game because of just the like just. How epic it feels, like just being able to fight like a thousand heartless in one like, area. That, that, that makes was a problem the first time, but that but like I, I feel, can get through. I, I I feel like I, I'm the only person that didn't die to him, like I, I died to Demix like several times when I actually played Final Mix and I'm like yeah. fucking my hands were cramped so bad. I, uh, I don't they know. Like, so bad. I don't know. Now, I, I, I never I've never really had a problem with Demix. Now for more banter from me, I also love that artwork right there for the title screen. It's very nice. I like yeah. the watercolor background. So good. Now for character progression. Sorry, oh, actually. Look at yeah. Character progression. Sora, Sora's character from the first one is so much better. First one, he was kind of unsure of himself. He didn't really know what he was doing. He felt like he was thrust upon this like, like massive thing bigger than himself without yeah. any like warning or anything and that's pretty much what happened and then he's like okay i gotta find my friends and i gotta go save Kyrie. and in the end he saves the world but then chain of memories happened and oh well i don't have nothing else to say about that the cat is chewing my sunglasses i'm <laughs> trying to talk here and you're chewing my sunglasses Kyrie, you're a very passive character i love female characters i do but Kyrie is just so passive. She just she like does nothing until like yeah. the end where the, the thing he is, gives her that keyblade. The thing with the Kingdom Hearts series though, up to this point, is that the, the, they've written Kyrie in a way that she hasn't had the opportunity to really do anything. All we see her do is the keyblade at some heartless, and that's it. Yeah, because uh, here's yeah, the just... thing, like, uh, in Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, her, her heart was inside Sora for, like, the majority of the game. Kingdom Hearts 2, she was stuck on Destiny Islands, and then all that stuff stuff happened with Axel and all that. Axel! And, uh, Axel! Yeah. Axel, who, like, come with me, and she's like, hell no! And then she was, like, stuck in the prison cell or whatever. Like, they- they yeah. guess the excuse for being a child and birth by sleep, at least. No, yeah, but... Yeah. In, in, in contrast to Kyrie, for nobody nominate us so much more. Then again, yeah. in Chain of Memory, she did it pretty much against her will. Yeah. Pretty much, she hated doing it. And then she goes and save, saves Kyrie anyway. Yeah. Are we just now, out? now for Riku. Pretty much everybody knows how much I love Riku. <laughs> Riku's character has progressed beyond the Kane archetype, and I call him the Kane archetype because he's pretty much Kane from Final Fantasy IV. Gets brainwashed to thinking that, oh, yeah, I could totally, like, you know, make her fall in love with me and shit like that, and then they drop that whole thing after one, which I'm so happy about. 
then he sort of like becomes like this big brother archetype to Sora and Kairi and he cares about them so much that he's willing to separate himself from them so he can deal with his own problems first before he can go back to them and that is why Riku is such a compelling character to me. It's yeah. because he's willing to go through fucking hell and back, literally, to save his friends. Uh, is... Riku is... Yeah, something the, Riku? uh... Yeah, I think it's something we didn't really mention. It's like how, like, well they've improved this character so in our final thoughts. Yeah, well, I like how Riku, 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 Riku is basically, uh, what Terra was trying to be. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Are we just done with the session, by the way? Just wondering. Yeah, we are. That's why I'm on the tile screen. It's too late to do any side stuff. Um. Now, uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this short. Roxas. Roxas is a poor, poor woman. He, like, <laughs> he just wanted to exist. He, literally, his whole character is him just wanting to exist, and then he knows that he technically can't and that is just if you think okay, about that it's so it's, over. it's so jarring okay yeah so, you got anything to say it's also well i was going to no. say this quickly uh because like especially with roxas when you when you go through days as well like it makes the no that facts like even more depressing poor roxas Hello, Roxas. I am not Roxas. Goodbye, Roxas. I am not Roxas. Uh, anyway, Lewis, you got anything to say? Not really. Just like... Oh, there... Keep calling me, Roxas. Jason, please. Sorry. Um, yeah. I... It's like, you know I don't... Uh, I've, I've not played much Kingdom Hearts myself, so... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. That's um, all. Pancakes it's, for it's, it's weird signed Nomura. <laughs> yeah. Have I got an idea for you, sir? I also recently discovered that um, the reason why Sora exists in the first place, just from a behind the scenes uh, category, is that Disney wanted Mickey Mouse to be Oh, movie. yeah, I know but what then, you're talking about. Then, yeah. But then Square Enix is like, no, and then they, both Disney and Square Enix decided to make a conglomeration. I, Someone yeah. who has just character traits, but is Square enix -ified Well, before they, Sora. But before they went to Sora, though, it was funny, though, because um, I, uh, I think Disney wanted Donald or Mickey to be the main character. Yeah, and Square enix, Donald or Mickey. And Square Enix was, was like the opposite. Um, this is, this is funny, like, trying to imagine Donald being the star of this series, but... Sephiroth! Kingdom Hearts is like... <laughs> oh, Gina, jeez. Uh, uh, but either way, though, like, I don't know, I, I, we, I think we said basically all we, all we needed to. I, I guess, I, like, other things quickly, I think this, the, the post, oh. the post game... I think it's the best in the series, but we'll get more into that when we do it. But well, we got, yeah, even though final mix, game, final no, mix, it. yeah, final mix specifically, not necessarily Kingdom Hearts Two Vanilla. But yeah, I don't know. I like the characters. I said everything else I needed to. So um, unless you guys have anything else to say, I'm gonna wrap this up. I got nothing else to say. Ping is. Play the game Some, yeah. and then cry at Lingering Will for three hours. Some or of six. the <laughs> Some of the dead meme. <laughs> oh, well, um, you think as usual, I see. <laughs> Time for a change of pace. Uh, time paradox. <laughs> time for a change of pants. <laughs> Snake, you call it the time paradox. Alright. Well, either, either way then, uh... That's gonna be it for the main story of Arts 2, and uh, next time we're gonna go through a lot of uh, post content stuff, so yeah, we're yeah all get ready. We might do a little bit of grinding off screen. Uh, that might be a bit later. There's uh, some other things we can do before then, but 
Yeah. Right. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Scrubs. <laughs>